Δοκιμή, δοκιμή, επειδή ο Ρώμα Μάικ Κύλο, δοκιμή. Hello YouTube, this is Ham Radio Reviews, doing another video today. Today I'm not reviewing a radio, but I'm reviewing an accessory. Uh, and it is this accessory here. This is the Bluetooth uh, handset for uh, two pin Kenwood type ports. As you see here, it comes uh, like this. These two things and the charger. I will show you the charger later for this. This has a special charger. Uh, the headset uh, looks like a normal uh, Bluetooth headset and I really like this uh, rubber cover here for it goes into your ear and it's, uh, it looks like a normal headset um, this, uh, is, this model is let me here we go it is the Eniseku ACB09 model uh, and uh, it is available online. It is uh, very nice. There are some minor issues, but uh, I, I really like the concept. Uh, this was lent to me uh, by my friend Stratos Sierra Yankee 2 Bravo Kilo Victor, who got to uh, want to, to try out, and he gave it to me for this uh, video. Uh, it's uh, having a, a wireless. Uh, Headset for radio is very useful uh, for a number of things. Maybe um, you are uh, working uh, as a security officer, as a security guard somewhere, and you don't want to have uh, the cable uh, in your in your way. Uh, maybe you want to listen to your radio without. Uh, um, having uh, uh, your hands uh, all the time to hold the radio or having the cable in, in your way uh, when you're trying to do things and things like that. Also, I really like it because uh, it looks like a normal headset. Uh, it's the, uh, the operation is very simple. I don't know if it can work with another headset. Uh, there is one thing I don't like and that is that uh, it doesn't work with uh, Vox. If your radio has Vox, it does not rely on that. Meaning, uh, if you start talking, it will not just transmit. You still need to use your hand, and that is to press the PTT. Uh, this button here is the PTT button. Uh, with this button, you can set the volume. And this is the on-off switch. There we go. Now, this is pairing mode. Okay. Um, this is. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm testing it with the Baofeng uh, UVB5 uh, because uh, it won't fit on uh, many radios because of the way the the, the cap the, the flap here opens. For example, let's say it's here the UV5RE or the UV5. This is the DM5R, but it's the same as the UV5R. Uh, the way it opens here, if I insert it like that, yeah, uh, it gets in the way. Although, if you press it, if you see here, it is a bit um, uh, pressed the wrong way, I think it will work, but I, I don't like it. Uh, but I don't like it being like that. Because uh, the flap here, the door here, does not allow it to rest normally uh, to the side of the radio. The same applies with the UV5R. This is the DM5R, but it's the same uh, body of the radio. There we go. Uh, what else should we try? The UV3R. Yeah, I don't think it will fit here also. 
Oh, now mm, no, the UV3R, it fits better. It does press against it here, but it looks to be inside better. Ah, I really like this. Nice setup here. Uh, it is a bit chunky, uh, this thing here, but uh, for what it uh, can do, but for the reason uh, you're going to use it, I think that's not much of an issue. Let's try another radio here. This is the Ritevis RT3 DMR radio. Yeah, this is perfect. Oh, excellent. Excellent. And the finish is quite similar. Not the same, but it's quite similar. It looks as if it was made for this radio. Yeah, it looks a lot better. I like it. I like it here better. Ritevis RT3 is okay. Uh, let's try this one uh, the GT3 yeah it will fit here also hmm it it doesn't seem to go all the way in on the GT3 uh, I don't know it doesn't give me I don't think it will make a good contact on the GT3, despite the fact that uh, the flap opens uh, uh, and it's out of the way. What else should we try? Let's try the TYT uh, UV8000E here, which has it might the flap opens to the back like this, but it has a the distance is better here, so maybe mm, it. It's a very, very snug fit. It looks, it's a, it, it looks here that it's okay, but yeah, no, I think it's okay if you press it a bit. I think it's okay. Okay, let's do some tests now and see how it performs. Okay, I'll put it back on the UVB. Five here. There we go. Turn it on. Uh, okay, these two are paired. They come uh, paired from the factory. All you have to do, you, you need to. Is it receiving something? Okay, you need to press and hold this button at the top here. There's a button here. Press and hold to turn it on. And the uh, blue light starts blinking and then turn this on too now if, if you hear that they are connected and here let me you press this is the PTT now there you go and it's transmitting okay Let's see. Let me put that. Uh, it has a. Um, this is not. Uh, this is one of those cheap uh, uh, for your ear, uh, plastic uh, things for your ear. Uh, but uh, okay, that's a detail. It will hold. At least in my ear, uh, it will hold uh, okay even with this rubber uh, part here. Now, I will do a test. I will move away. I'm. I'm. I'm around. The headset is at around 50 centimeters away now from the receiver here. I will keep the PTT, I will be pressing the PTT and see where it stops. The Kimi, the Kimi, it's video Roma Mike Kilo, the Kimi. Torem Sena Metro, the Kimi, the Kimi, it's video Roma Mike Kilo, the Kimi. The Kimi, the Kimi, it's video Roma Mike Kilo, the Kimi. Okay, there's not much room here right now, but I will go to the other room and test it. Um, the in uh, two in I was uh, around two meters away, and it seemed to be uh, transmitting all the time. Uh, let's do another uh, a sound check. See how it sounds. I will go away. I will go outside this room. I will have the. Uh, here, the UV5R 
a here. Let me put something so that it can hold. Okay. Next up, I think it will do the job. Here we go. Yes. Okay. The gimme, the gimme. It's with the my kilo. The gimme. Okay. Let me turn on the volume. The gimme, the gimme. Okay. The gimme. Seems to be okay. Let's go to the other room. Okay, not sure if something was heard here, but the volume was turned up. Let's see one more time. Okay, I think it's okay. Sorry about that. I think it. Uh, it is okay. Now I will go. I will trans start. Let's turn that off. Okay. Just a moment. Let's see if it worked. Okay. Okay. I think uh, the sound uh, was pretty nice uh, for the having a, a Bluetooth headset uh, on my ear, and uh, the distance. Uh, the, the microphone is uh, not. Uh, it's like a normal Bluetooth headset. Uh, the distance of the microphone on the Bluetooth headset uh, from my mouth. Okay. Uh, now I want to do another test, uh, and uh, this time I want to see how, uh, if someone transmits, what can I hear? What can I hear? Uh, it needs to be uh, the volume on the receiving here. It needs to be turned up a bit, like this. Okay. And uh, how can we do that? I'll have my phone record this and see what's going on. I will uh, do a test. I will go to the other room. I will leave this here with the headset we'll turn this up here not all the way all the way up it's there but here let's see if is there any chance you can hear it like that the gimme the gimme is video around my kilo the gimme the gimme the gimme the gimme no let's see if we can okay let's put it here like that and let's hope that it can pick that up okay start recording this and I will go to the other room let's see now I think it can pick it up okay let's go out Okay, I think that was pretty nice. Uh, there was a, um, a turning off sound when, when I was releasing the PTT, a, a, a tchew, something like that. But other than that, I think it sounded pretty nice. It was um, a bit muffled, uh, but still. I think this is very usable. It's a very nice little accessory, and I think I'm getting one for myself also. Um, let me turn that off. Uh, you can find the link in the description on where you can buy this. Uh, it will be either be branded uh, as any sec or another brand. It it's going to be the same. Okay, and I really like this. Okay, thank you very much uh, for watching uh, this uh, video. Um, Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, we have until January 15th. Uh, I have introduced Boat. What is Boat? Boat is the best of all time, Ham Gear. Uh, 
uh, and it is a vote. You can vote uh, for what you think is the best uh, ham gear of all time. Um, you will find all. The, I'll, I'll put in the, a link in the description below. You will find all the information on my on uh, hamradioreviews.eu. Uh, the radios uh, that are for uh, uh, that you can vote right now are just an indication. If you think uh, that uh, more radios should be in the vote, you can also uh, suggest. Um, there are suggestion boxes right below each poll. And if I get enough uh, suggestions for any model, I will uh, include them in the uh, vote, in the polls. Uh, January 15th is the last date where you can vote for your favorite, uh, what you think is the best of all time, ham radio gear uh, for up to the year 2016. Uh, you might have a radio that uh, uh, was made in, 19, in the 70s and you think it's the best of all time. You can suggest that radio. Uh, there. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Ham Radio Reviews YouTube channel for more Ham Radio reviews. Thanks. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Uh, Seventy three.